Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this one, we're going to continue where we left off at the last one. Some people have asked since then that I show how to add roles to users, so I thought that would be a good time to do um, guild member add. It's nothing, you know, special or uh, nothing difficult. It's just an event, just like the ready event and the message event. Uh, this one gets called when someone joins the server, and equally there's guild member leave or exit, I can't remember, for when someone leaves the server, in case you want to you know, do something when they leave, it's up to you. But um, the point is I'm going to show you how to use this, so that we can set up a way to welcome new users and maybe send them a DM with the rules, and we're going to give them a member role, so that's uh, three things in one. It's nothing too complex, but some people ask for it. And I want to catch up in this series to where I was in my old one, so anything I've covered in that I want to cover in this, until uh, I catch up, then I'll start making new content, so using like APIs and some cool different commands and so on. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so thanks to my patrons, thanks to Michael, Paul Robinson, Fulbaum, and Norwegian Viking for the donations on Patreon this month. If anyone else would like to help support the channel, then the link is in the description below. There's also the YouTube member join button if you wish to help out that way. But let's get into it. So what we want to do is we want to make a new event. This video is going to be really quick, so I'm not going to sit around explaining stuff for ages. It's quite simple. Uh, before we actually get into anything, I'm just going to increase my scale. All right. Client on. It's an event. What event? There's all of these. Well, quite handily enough, it's already on guild member add. We're going to use a guild member add event, and it tells you, whoops, it tells you that this spits out a member type, guild member. Just like this spits out a discord.message, this spits out discord.member or guild member. So, if we say member as our variable name, it doesn't have to be member, but it makes sense too, so I would recommend it. Um, this just means now the member variable at this client uh, that this event spits out is available inside this function. So, what do we want to do with the member variable? Well, we want to send a message to the server um, in the welcome channel, for example, saying, you know, welcome this member. So we'll say, well, actually, first of all, we want to get reference to the welcome channel. So the way we can do that is we can say, uh, let welcome channel equal uh, member so the member dot uh, guild, so the server they've just joined, which is our server. But obviously bots can be in multiple servers, so you need to specify. Uh, me member dot guild is the guild of the mem. Like okay, uh, there's a difference between member and user in Discord. So user is like you, and member is you in a server. So my guild member thing will be different from my guild member thing in a different server. So. Um, if we say member.guild, it might seem like, it's like, well, which server, you know, member can be multiple servers, but they can't. A guild member type is for a specific server. So th this is obviously ref ref referencing that server. So member.guild is the server they just joined. Dot channels, which is a list of all the channels. Dot find. And we want to find a, well, channel where this channel name is welcome, for example. So the way to do this is quite simple. You just do we're going to make a variable called channel and we want to find where the channel's name so channel.name is equal to welcome all lowercase because server sorry um channel names in discord are limited to lowercase like if you try typing up a case it'll just do it in lowercase and we're going to say as discord.text channel so we actually treat it as a text channel type then unlike in J javascript now we know this is a discord.text channel so we can treat it as such and get good IntelliSense from it and so on. So now that we know that, we can say welcome channel send, and maybe we'll send, um, you know, welcome member dollar. Okay, member dot um, display name. Uh, we hope you enjoy your time here. It's up to you. So that's gonna get the uh, get the channel and send it to them. Now obviously, um, just make sure your server actually has a welcome channel, I've made one here. Um, and this is, I'm gonna copy and paste this actually. So I want to add the member role, I just, I just simply made a member role. So I want to add the member role. Uh, so I'm gonna say, you know, let uh, member role is be equal to member.guild.roles.find role um, where role.id is that. Um, so that's the role ID. The way you get a role ID 
is by uh, adding the roll and then putting a slash before it. Or you, well, you can just do a slash and an at. So um, if I do, well, I'm not going to do it now, but point is you slash member, you get that because that's the member ID roll, uh, member roll ID, sorry. Um, so that should store the uh, roll. And then we will say on the next line, uh, member that's joined dot add role and pass in the member role. So now we welcome them and we add them that role and then maybe you want to send them a DM so you can say member dot send. Uh, obviously the difference being this is saying send to a channel, this is saying send to a member so that DMs them. Member dot send. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining our server. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know it's not necessary, but I uh, I want to put semicolons. And the way we'll test this before we get an error to make sure we don't get an error is just copy this uh, let member role. I'm going to go drop it in the ready. Uh, in the ready. Uh, well, that's not actually going to work, is it? <laughs> what I'll do is I'll go put it in the message, and you'll see why. Uh, so we can just say message.guild, there you go. I'm going to put a breakpoint on that line and I'm going to press F5 and that's just to make sure we actually do get reference to the role before I end up uh, inviting someone and testing it. So it's ready, we'll go here, it's online, I'll send a message, code gets stopped. Uh, do we have the member role if we go to the next line? Well, um, Okay. Yeah, we have reference to the member role. Actually, it's role member, proto one. I mean, there's so much stuff here. The color, you get whatever you want. Basically, we found the role. It works. So I can get rid of that line. That was just a quick test to make sure we did it right. Um, and there, and we're going to add it to the person. So uh, get rid of the debug console now. I don't care. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to build. So Control Shift B, build. And then we're going to go to our uh, index.js, open in terminal, call node.to-run it, the bot's online, and we're going to go ask us to join. So uh, TypeScript bot, invite people, invite Mickey, and hopefully he will join in a second. I'm just going to delete this, and might as well delete these. Right, he should join any second. So while he's joining, just to, in case it takes a second, um, as well as doing Google member add, you can do client on guild member leave remove. Sorry, remove. That's it. And then obviously you have reference to a member that's been spat out. So you can just do the same thing, but you might want to do something different when they leave. So you can just say, um, you know, maybe. Like here, instead of saying welcome, we say um, we are sorry that you had to go, or something like that, for example. So that um, you know, you just say goodbye. It's up to you. That's obviously not compulsory. Uh, he's not joining, which is annoying because now I can't really prove that it's working. Um, and one thing I could do is I could remove my own member role, and I could just simply. Uh, call this code when I send a message. Obviously, the only difference would be that this gets called when someone joins. But um, if I make this into, if I just, you know, just as a little choppy thing, if I say, uh, you know, function uh, join, um, and then I just put in this stuff. Obviously, when someone joins, they um, would call join and pass in member. That's just to uh, member of type discord dot member. Okay, and then when we start, we're just going to call the same thing. 
and we're going to pass in message.member, which is the right type. This is just a test for me. Obviously, for you, it'll just work when someone joins. That's just a quick workaround I've gone for it. So if I do a control shift B and build, you don't need to follow this along. To node dot. And technically now, when I say a message, I get a DM in the welcome channel. It says welcome person. Um, technically, because the bot responded, uh, it actually wel welcomed itself as well because it sent a message. Um, I got the member role and I got a DM from the bot saying thank you for joining our server. So obviously that exact same code is going to get ran when uh, someone joins. I just called it from the message because you know I didn't want to have to make a second account to have to invite myself and so on. But you can see that's working. So obviously in your case, uh, you don't want a join function like that. You don't need this join function like that. Whoops, uh, I need to actually keep the code though. Let's go put that back in here. Yeah, so. I uh, hope you like this video. Obviously, it's a short one. Some people like the shorter videos. It was something simple. I um, hope you get this to work for your server. If you have any problems, obviously, ask them below or join our Discord server. The link is in the description below. If you can help support the channel, then I'd appreciate that a lot. Um, if you have a problem with finding the ID and stuff like that, just make sure you've turned on developer mode. I think I mentioned this at the start, but I can't remember if I did. So go to your um, user settings, go down to appearance, scroll down, turn on developer mode and you can see IDs and stuff. So like if I want the welcome channel ID, copy, boom, there's the welcome channel ID and so on. So I hope you like this video. If you get any problems and obviously the, the documentation is also a good place to check. You know, if you don't know about the events, then you've got your, your events here. If you want to know about adding a role, you've got your add role function here and an example. So there's always uh, good documentation on here for the stuff you need. So yeah, I hope your bots go well. If you need any help, then as I said, ask below. But apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.